He tasted like smoke and honey, and she was immediately addicted, craving more even as his lips assaulted hers. Then she was airborne, flying backward and bouncing a little as he tossed her onto the mattress. Her legs were flung open, her breath shallow, but there was nothing unwilling in any fiber of her body. Anyone else might have felt uncertain, being the subject of someone's scrutiny while they were on such an intimate display, but Lena reveled in it. She didn't care if he could track the evidence of her desire dripping down her thigh. As long as he backed up those hot looks by touching her, there wasn't much in this world she did care about. You're a Kavina Fekerst, he whispered, the words guttural and so thickly accented she could barely make them out. What does that mean? she managed. Most beautiful woman, he repeated with a wolfish grin. His words warmed her already fevered flesh. Stop talking and get over here, now. Your wish is my command. Yes, she groaned as his hand ran up the sides of her legs. Just don't stop, I want all of you. I don't think I could stop if I wanted to. It's about time. Nord laughed, but it was a hoarse, humorless sound. <sighs> do you have any idea what you do to me? Lena didn't stop and think. She just gave in to instinct and let her hand shift to cup his hard length. I have an idea. Nord leaned over her, his teeth clamping down on the lobe of her ear as he growled. That's just the beginning. As he pulled back, his frost-colored eyes peered deep into hers and she smiled. Good. It would be beyond disappointing if that was all you had to offer. Nord's lips twisted up as his fingers tightened in her hair. Kyrista, if you manage to fucking walk when I'm done with you, I'll be impressed. I hope you can back up those promises, Viking, because I've been waiting a long time to understand what all the fuss was about. Nord leaned down, his lips back at her ear as he breathed. But you've never known anyone like me. 